Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Hard-nosed running game. The power. The counter trade. The ISO. If that's what you love, much as I hate to say it, you probably better turn the channel. Two high-powered passing attacks. Two teams that love to push the ball down the field, getting set to try to light up the scoreboard. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. center of the world and this crowd hopes to see some stars on the playing field and now let's head down to the coin toss it's brought to you by coke zero real coca-cola taste and zero calorie enjoy everything is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Phillips takes it from the six. And he's tackled at the 30. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. To the receiver a one-yard gain on the play this junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch good play by the defense he's to the 40 he's tackled around the 50-yard line so the run goes for a big first down the offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well nice play No good. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. Caught enough for the first down. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Sanders gets a handoff to the right. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. It's second and 13. Ball on the 39-yard line. Watch 15. Watch 15. Watch 15. Ready? Oh. And they hit him in the backfield. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. it out to his receiver in a hurry and down he goes right around the 32 yard line wow a long game but still not enough for the first well the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down once it all going deep he's in touchdown arizona Nicely designed play. 
wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. And he converts the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. And for Kansas, they've won two straight. And for Reddick, he showed why this aerial attack is so dangerous. Better than 400 yards passing. The Jayhawks cruise by 19. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Arizona to kick. He makes it to the 32-yard line. The Bruins have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Coming to you. Coming to you. Nice run there. Robinson gains around six yards on the draw play right there. First down, Graham. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of four on the play. That brings him second and five. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third and five situation. Ball on the 44. Caught out of the open. He gets hit out of bounds. At about the 27-yard line. First down. The defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. From the 27-yard line, second down. And he tackles him hard at the 25. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He scrambled. Tackle made right around the 20. Five wide. Rose and it's knocked away. Great stand by the defense and they get it back for their offense. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That makes it second and six. Arizona up seven points. down at the 22. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. From their own 22-yard line, it's third down, and they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Pass, 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 pass. 
Throws incomplete. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Marcus fields it to the 46, and down he goes at the 49. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And now he's got room to run. And they make the stop at the 40. That's a D on the play. That brings up second and one. He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds around the 33-yard line. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. Decent run here, right side. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Wildcats lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Third down and they need to get it to the 23. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle and he's taken down at the 26. took away the quarterback a great read and the tailback ends up in the end zone for the touchdown they'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game he makes the PAT Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update Reese somebody is going to get fried SMU and TCU in the battle for the iron skillet here's a rivalry that is flat out nasty all lucky seven thanks Reese we're tied at seven in this one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 31. A couple of fears feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. At the 32-yard line, the running back picks up a yard on the counter. They'll get him for a loss. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That brings us third and ten. Mike 15. Mike 15. Easy, easy, easy. easy. And he 
hits him hard at the 23 yard line. Loss of eight yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. And he brings it down. And he's tackled in the open field. First down. Makes it out to about the 13. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. That makes it first and 10. He fights forward to about the 13. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 10-yard line. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it for the Down about right around the four yard line. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. UCLA is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Arizona's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. He's out of bounds around the 26-yard line. across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 35. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything works perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Quick 
Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Jones is the receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and 11. Marcus is back awaiting the punt. Oh, man, did he take a hit. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. UCLA is up a field goal. yards. He would tackle immediately. That'll be a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 35. Throws in the middle, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Taken down at the 32. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Pulls it in and stops in his tracks with that tackle. That makes it second and six. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 20, and down he goes at about the 13. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. UCLA's called their final timeout. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The kick is up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. This kick return should conclude the first half. Don't be surprised to see some trickery here. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. UCLA leads it 13-7. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. Marcus takes it at the four, brought down at the 23. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. UCLA is up by six. He fights forward to about the 26. Seven-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Larry, Larry, Larry. Intercepted. Brought down at about the 41. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. 
and the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Nice run, and he's brought down. Space there was for that tailback up front. He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. And they make the stop right around the two yard line. That brings him second and goal. So here it is, crucial third down as they try to take the lead. And he's level at the one. That brings us fourth and goal. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and resale. The Mustangs and Horned Frogs square off in the battle for the Iron Skillet. This one's been entertaining us all day long. These two teams hate every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. The Horned Frogs are on top, 28-7. Thanks, Reese. 13-10 here. Scott has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He'll return it from the one. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he's sacked. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. And a lot of quarterbacks can get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football, but the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. UCLA holds a field goal lead. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. Third down. Three 
He unloads it. Got him. And he's tackled at the 40. Two times, two times. First down. Two down, two down. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. That makes it 37. Tackled at the 26. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. And he makes it out to about the 24 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. That's three down and one to go. UCLA's got a three-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. UCLA has a three-point lead. He's scrambling. Slides down. That makes it third and three. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Touchdown, UCLA! That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 80-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Wildcats have just not been able to get that off at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. <laughs> Zips it to the tailback incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here we go! Under pressure. Fires it quickly. Oh, so close to breaking it. The defense has got to play until the game is over. You can't give up some big plays and give this team some life and give them a chance to maybe tie this game up. You've got to close the door. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. The ball, the ball, the ball. Run it up. Check nine, check nine. There's a strike complete. He might have a chance. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. Run 
up the middle. From the 27 yard line, it's third down. Throws complete, big loss. A four yard loss. So that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get go. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Throws it in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds at the 20. So they get the first down on a big fourth down pickup. These guys will just not go away. They're backed into a corner, but that's when a team performs their best. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Just under three to go in regulation. Nice run there. That'll bring up third and four. Gotta move quick. Gotta move quick right here. Screen pass, but he can't hang on to the ball. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Now he tries to buy some time. He's going to take off. They'll bring him down at the one yard line. short distance he had great blocking up front on that play here's the extra point to get within a field goal and he tacks on the extra point Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update Reese the Wildcats take the field as the second ranked team in the country and for Kansas State they're shooting for their 10th win in a row and it's getting very late in the fourth elsewhere the Horned Frogs will rank number 17 another W, and they hope another move up in the poll. And for TCU, they've won two straight. TCU drops the hammer and wins it big. Well, we've seen some big upsets, and that one would measure right up with the best of it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Marcus from the three, and he just got drilled. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. It's a big opportunity for this offense. They've got the lead. Now they want to just try to manage this clock and be smart with the football and see if they can work as much clock as possible. Just over two minutes in the game. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Robinson comes away with two yards on the carry. It's second and eight. Ball on the 26. about the 29 yard line and the halfback carries for a pickup of three the Wildcats use their second timeout screen pass he's got his halfback he's taken down at about the 27 yard line they couldn't get anything to work and it will be fourth down Phillips is back deep to return the punt Get 
gets to about the 47-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27. From the 27 yard line, it's first down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He's looking for six. That makes it second and ten. Just under two minutes in the game. He lets it fly. Touchdown, and now they're in front. converts the extra point with a three-play 53-yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard well, i think the thing brad that i'm seeing is that quarterbacks taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense so the score now 24 20 arizona gets set to kick this one away he really got a hold of that kick he's to the 20 tackle made at the 24 the Bruins have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Fires quickly, and he's got his man brought down at about the 43-yard line. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He fires. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Third and five situation. Ball on their own 48. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ballgame, and now the offense has got a chance to win it.
The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Delayed game. Offense. Looked like they might have been a little bit late getting the play in, and it results in a delay of game. So the penalty will make it first and 15. He's on the run. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. We have less than a minute to go. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at about the 15-yard line. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. Scrambling around. The 10. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Flowers' game shows us a little bit of everything today. We've seen his arm, and now we see him do it with his leg. I love to watch a quarterback take a game over, and it's the worst nightmare for a defensive coordinator is when a quarterback is able to make a big play with his feet. It's the one guy you just can't account for as a defense, and that time he made him pay for it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. The thing you've got going for you defensively, you know your offense is doing their job. You just have to do yours. Yeah, I think one time you have to be able to go out there on the field together and look around and say, guys, I know we're not playing well, but just one stop. The way our offense is playing, if we can come up with one stop, we can win this game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. He sails it long. Got him. And he's tackled around the 43-yard line. out to his wide out. Tackle at the 30. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. Under a minute left in the game. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 20 yard line. Spikes the ball. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Throws it. It falls incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. They'll try to ice him with a timeout here. Kick is away, and he got it! Oh, has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. It's fielded at the two, and he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game, an important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. They've got one more shot. Let's see if their prayers will be answered with a good old Hail Mary. Going long. He goes up, picked off. We're going to overtime.
That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Tackled after decent pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Williams on the tackle at the seven-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Got a receiver and he dropped it. They're at the seven. Second down. Nice run up the middle. in tight on the line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. So the kicker will come out and try to build a three-point cushion here in overtime. Kicks up, and he's got it. Time for an update from the studio. What you got? The Wildcats come into today's game ranked second in the land. There was never any room to breathe in this game. And for Denman, he hit the century mark. More than 100 yards passing. Kansas State gets the W, 38-31. Only a field goal separates these two here. East 30-27. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25. They come out in a five-wide set. He's got it with room to run. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at about the five-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Tries to buy some time. He takes it in for the win. What a finish. That's the end of the ball game. And our final score on this one, Arizona 33, UCLA 30. Well, that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.